Hello everyone and welcome to Morning Devotions. <clears throat> um, everything went fine with my surgery. They weren't able to do laparoscopic, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, surgery with the small incision. They, they had to open me up, um, probably because of my history of uh, operations and stuff. And There's probably a lot of scar tissue and things. So. Wasn't able to sleep too good last night. The pain, you know, with that with that fistula right beside it there, it's always irritated and stuff, and it's just uh, been a lot of pain. So uh, this morning I ended up getting up real early, and I had to sit in there till I started feeling a little bit better. And uh, Joy wouldn't let me do it outside. You know, I kind of don't blame her. She don't want me walking any more than I have to, and. Uh, but, you know, y'all know me, I'm going to be determined to do my devotions. Uh, I haven't missed a day yet, and I don't want to. So, so here we go. I appreciate everybody's prayers, just overwhelming support. That's uh, that, you know, with my family and my, my wife and son and daughter, uh, you know, with all that support, it's amazing. But with all you people adding your prayers into it and everything, and your words of encouragement to me, it really meant a lot to me. And I appreciate it so much. Okay, on our prayer list today, I need some updates from some of y'all because, uh, you know, if things happen and somebody's in the hospital, if I, three or four days later, they might not be in the hospital or there might be something different we need to pray for that they've found out, or we, we may be on the praise report if they're doing good. So please uh, keep me updated in the comments. Um, keep Big Mama sharing the loves family in prayer. Big Mama passed away this past Sunday. Susie by the Sea is in the hospital. Maya Owens, Myla Owens, Friend's seven-year-old uh, just came out of the hospital. Pray, pray for a speedy full recovery. Jennifer's dog Zoe, who was on Kitty's Corners, passed away. Please remember Jennifer and her family. And that dog really meant a lot to them, as well as uh, everybody's pets pretty much do. I mean, they become part of the family, you know. And uh, it's 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 rough. It's rough. I mean, I when when our dog, little Chihuahua mix, we had. It, she, he lived to be like 16, I think, but when he passed away, I mean, I don't know for sure if it's what it was, but I, we all got very upset, and I ended up in the hospital a week later, and I'm sure that didn't, you know, that uh, contributed to it, because uh, it is, it's rough on me, that's, it, it's as bad, really, as if a, a family member, you know, because they are a family member, so... Let's remember Jennifer and her family. Mimi wants everyone to pray for those affected by the hurricane in the Bahamas as well. We all need to, to pray for them. You know, uh, I heard here it's really bad. I haven't seen any uh, thing on TV really. I have, I've been kind of out of the loop for a few days, but I hear it's bad. And uh, Cheen's Creations has an unspoken request. Yeah, I was still very uh, nervous, and they, the anesthesiologist gave me something to calm me down some, and it, it did help too. Uh, ooh, it's hurt. So I can't stay upright real long, so I'll get on with this. Our Bible reading comes from James 3, 1 through 6. <clears throat> I need a drink of my coffee. I was able to use my big one that I got from Aldi today. It won't fit in my cup holder out there. <clears throat> okay. Not many of you should become teachers, my fellow believers, because you know that we who teach will be judged more strictly. We all stumble in many ways. Anyone who is never at fault in what they say is perfect, 
able to keep their whole body in check. <clears throat> when we put bits into the mouths of horses to make them obey us, we can turn the animal, we can turn the whole animal, or take ships as an example. Although they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are steered by a very small rudder wherever the pilot wants to go. Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boasts. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. The tongue is also the tongue also is a fire, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole body, sets the whole course of one's life on fire, and is itself set on fire by hell. Ooh, and that was entitled that I mean they got little notes on here that was entitled Taming the Tongue. So interesting <clears throat> okay our uh, devotions today are entitled tongue tamers in the in the in west with the night author Burl Markham detailed her work with Cam Sisson a feisty stallion who was ta tasked with taming who she was tasked with taming I'm having a little trouble with my uh, floaters y'all She'd met her match with Camison. No matter what strategy she employed, she could never fully tame the proud stallion, chalking up only one victory over his stubborn will. How many of us feel this way in the battle to tame our tongues? While James compares the tongue to the bit in a horse's mouth or a ship's rudder, he also laments, out of the same mouth can't come praise and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this should not be. So how can we win the battle over the tongue? The Apostle Paul offers tongue-taming advice. The first involves speaking only the truth. This is not a license to be painfully blunt, however. Paul follows up with, Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouth, but only what is helpful for building others up. We can also take out the trash, get rid of all bitterness, rage, and anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Is this easy? Not if we attempt to do it on our own. Thankfully, we have the Holy Spirit who helps us as we rely on Him. As Markham learned, consistency with Camison was needed in the battle of wills, such is the case in the taming of the tongue. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I want to pray for everybody on the prayer list, Lord. Uh, please help all the people that have been affected in the Bahamas. And please help all the people out there that have been affected by the hurricane that came through. And uh, please, please heal all the people that have have illnesses, Lord, and help anybody else out there that needs help. In the Lord's name, I pray. Amen. I hope y'all enjoyed this morning's devotions. Please press the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I don't know what I'll get into today. Um, I'm working on a, <clears throat> if I get the information and stuff, I, I'm going to have a kitty's corner because I can do that from the couch, basically. Um, I'm not going to try to do a whole, whole lot today. Anything I can do from the couch, I can, I, I can do, you know, so if y'all have any suggestions, <laughs> let me know. I don't think I'll be able to go outside. Um, Especially if it's real hot, you know, because uh, Joy, she she didn't get much sleep the past few nights, and she she went back to sleep after she got me situated and fixed me some coffee and stuff. So we'll just see how it goes. And uh, once again, I appreciate everybody's support so much. It it really meant a lot to me. It means a lot to me. So y'all have a great morning and a great day, and I will see you later on. Bye bye.